Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Now, uh, there has been a log jam in the ongoing monsoon session of parliament with opposition MPs making their demands absolutely clear to the government, asking for a discussion on the Pegasus snooping issue and also the three farm bills over which uh, protests have been raging on in the country since uh, late last year. The opposition MPs uh, have been protesting against the government on these issues, which has led to disruptions in the parliament and in the functioning of, of course, of the parliament, for which they are also being criticized by the government and also sections of the media. Uh, to discuss the opposition's plan of action, I have with me today Priyanka Chaturvedi, Rajya Sabha member of parliament from Shiv Sena. She's also the deputy the leader of Shiv Sena in Rajya Sabha. Thank you so much, uh, Priyanka, for taking out time and joining me on this program. Thank you so much, Priyata, for having me on your show. On Thursday, which was August 5th, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he compared India's medal run at Tokyo Olympics to the parliament logjam. And I'm only bringing this up because we're still, I think, reeling from the high of a gold medal. Uh, he said, or uh, at least he implied that while India was winning medals on one hand, the opposition in parliament, they were busy scoring self goals. And he also implied that the opposition is only derailing that effort. Now, the TMC MP, Derek O'Brien, he's categorically said that the logjam in parliament will continue till the opposition's demands of a discussion on Pegasus and the farm bills are met. Are you as a representative of Shiv Sena in consensus with that? Uh, firstly, I'd just like to mention what the prime minister tends to do is through his communication, uh, he ends up uh, trying to set a narrative which is extremely incorrect and untrue. And I would say as the prime minister of this country, he should know that it is the responsibility of the government of the day and parliamentary affairs minister to ensure that when list of business is uh, decided upon every day through the business advisory committee, that the uh, issues that opposition are raising should be kept in mind too. It cannot be my way or the highway. It will never be. Democracy will never be about, I have been elected to uh, power, so I will go absolutely unchecked and absolute in terms of how I want to conduct uh, or to take the country towards. Mm -hmm. It is always, always, when uh, opposition has, uh, when uh, the government has some responsibility, the people of the country have given opposition also a responsibility. Mm -hmm. You must understand that all the people of the country did not vote for the Bharatiya Janata Party. The opposition voices that you see, which consists of of 16 political parties is also has a substantial vote bank. Hmm. You cannot just uh, treat them rough short and say this is how democracy works. So we have to teach them the uh, teach uh, the Bharatiya Janata Party some new lessons in democracy because uh, this is absolutely unforgivable. Now regarding where Shiv Sena stands, Shiv Sena stands for the people of this country. Shiv Sena stands for national security issues being discussed in a transparent manner. While we totally believe that if uh, the government takes a decision on basis of national security, we will keep the uh, country above all else, above our politics. However, in the case of Pegasus, you've had a country, uh, a government going and paying taxpayers money to go buy a software, a spyware rather, from a foreign company on the pretext of national security, hmm. that it will help you safeguard your borders, right? Geographical borders. What do you do with this expensive spyware? You don't use it for national security. What you're doing it is you're using it for opposition and those voices which are in the opposition. So it could be a journalist, it could be an activist uh, exposing the government of the day, holding them accountable. It could be politicians from across the political spectrum. It is industrialists, whoever, it, if they choose to speak against this government or make any comment, they, they also trouble through ED, CBI, etc. So this has become the narrative of this government. And it, if, if the government has not bought Pegasus, Assuming the government has not bought Pegasus, they can come forward and say, no, we haven't bought Pegasus, so I don't know what you're talking about. And mm. if they have bought Pegasus, why are they running away from a discussion on this? So mm. this is all we want. When you talk about national security and you link it to a spyware, then you also be held answerable for the names that are cropping up.
So that is what we stand for, that there has to be transparency in governance, whether it's farmers' issues, whether it is about uh, uh, economy, about joblessness, women's safety, security. Why can't they be discussed on the floor of the house? Priyanka, of course, the Pegasus issue is very, very important because here we're talking about the alleged violation of a fundamental right of a citizen, which is right to privacy. Uh, Even so, do you fear that an impression is being created that the opposition is not concerned with the parliament functioning, you know, more so that they are derailing parliamentary proceedings. I think there have been seven uh, suspensions in Rajya Sabha. All of them, of course, are from the TMC. In fact, a number is also being quoted that out of 78 hours, the upper house has lost 60 hours because of parliamentary disruptions. Do you really think that, uh, you know, these disruptions could actually prove to be these self goals that the PM is talking about, and they could actually be diverting attention away from what it is meant to be highlighting. And that is, of no. course, Pegasus snooping. I don't, don't you think people of this country would want to know that if national, if they are taxpayers' money, we all are uh, taxpayers in this country, even those who do not pay direct taxes, they pay indirect taxes. Hmm. Shouldn't they know where their money is being spent? That we are indulging a government which is prone to snooping. A Gujarat model is now applicable to the India model now because they are in power. Shouldn't they know that where their hard-earned money is being spent? is being spent to snoop on people. And the other part is, uh, the people of this country, whenever any government has got arrogant, have also voted such governments out. That is how Mm. democracy works. Hmm. Now, when the democratic principles and constitutional principles of this country are being attacked day in, day out, Hmm. The people of the country realize who is responsible for it. So I would not want to fall in that same trap as what Mr. Modi ji is trying to put across to people, that disruption is causing losses. Then I I would humbly want to remind him that from 2009 onwards till 2014, the parliament was almost put to a stop by opposition leaders such as Sushma Swaraj ji, leader of house uh, uh, in the Lok Sabha, Arun Jaitli ji, leader of house in the Rajya Sabha for the Bharti Janta Party, and said disruption is form of a democracy. Hmm. And this is our way of showing that the government needs to be held accountable. Shouldn't it become the role of the state to ensure that anything to do with national security has been compromised upon? Has it been compromised from within the political system? Has it because of political compulsions? For example, the Bharti Janta Party wanting to know what the uh, uh, opposition state governments are doing to snoop on them and to understand how to pull down these governments, how to use ED, CBI, IT against such governments. Is it being misused by the bureaucracy officials who are there, which the government is not aware of? Is it that an Israeli software firm, a spyware firm, is trying to gather data about Indians who are influential? Or if government is not involved in any of this, is it our neighboring nations who are hostile to us, who are in, indulging in something like this? Who does the onus of investigation lie on? Does it lie on a police department at a police station? Or does something as big as this lie with the central government, the home ministry? So th- th- this is such a simple argument to make, oh, jaakar FIR darj ka do, oh, jaakar PIL kar do. In mm. fact, even the Supreme Court has taken cognizance of the matter. Yeah. Mm. So this is not a small thing to talk about. Oh, tumha, you were trolled, so why don't you go file an FIR? There's nothing to do with that. This is much larger in scale and in terms of the future of uh, how we see India as. Uh, Priyanka, from what it seems as of now, the parliament session, it seems, will end with this logjam. If by the end of this session, the government does not adhere to the opposition's demand for a discussion on Pegasus and on uh, farm bills, what is the opposition's plan of action then? Because it seems like the government is hoping that the matter will die down as the session comes to an end. How can the matter die down? I would want to know. World over, wherever this story has been broken, whether it is France, whether it is other countries, whether it's Israel for, for itself, Israel has raided the company, uh, the NSO uh, group. Yeah. They have put their work to stop. Uh, France concerned about its democracy and how their uh, president was being recorded at every given point in time through the spyware has ordered an investigation. Two of the journalists who uh, submitted their phones for investigation, who were uh, coincidentally uh, investigating on the Rafael story and were uh, sharing the stories, they, they, their phones were co- believed to be compromised and uh, the investigation has proved that. So the point is very simple. If you care for your democracy, and f- forget for a minute the right to privacy also. 
Aadhaar has taken that right to privacy. Many other things have taken right to privacy. That's the argument that comes from the Bharatiya Janata Party. Oh, when you sign up for Facebook, when you sign up for this, when you sign up for that. But here the problem is you haven't signed up for something like this. And this is not just snooping. Snooping would uh, reduce, uh, you know, you're reducing this entire argument to phone interceptions or call records. What is happening is people have, I mean, some government agencies having control over your mics, or, uh, your, your cameras, your data, your email, your documents, who you're talking to, why you're talking at what given point in time. I think that this is something which is like you're living inside a big, big boss house without having signed up for it. And your, uh, your life is being monitored or observed by someone else. So I think this is uh, this is an issue which is not going to die down. Just what like petrol the price rise. What is plan of action even after the parliament session gets over? We will keep raising it in every forum possible. I have a, I mean, uh, whether it's the Shiv Sena, Shiv Sena uh, is impacted by the farmers' issues. Shiv Sena is impacted by price rise. Shiv Sena is impacted by COVID uh, uh, mismanagement and not su no support coming from the central government in terms of vaccine procurement. So we are going to keep raising issues that matter to the people of this country, whether the government of the day likes it or not. We must understand this is the first time that major political opposition parties have come together on one right. common platform to uh, hit out. And I would say to hit out at all the inconsistencies this government has been coming up with. Inconsistent narrative, incorrect logic, and I would say uh, an absolute disregard to what uh, half of this country perhaps thinks. You're trying to silence all of that. Right. Uh, Priyanka, I wanted to get your insights on this. Like you just mentioned, this parliament session has really brought the opposition together like we haven't seen in a really long time. And it seems like it could possibly be the beginning of a possible united opposition alliance, you know, nationally also ahead of 2024. There is a lot of talks that are happening between opposition parties. Some of them is, some of it is of course happening behind the scenes. The TMC, it seems at the moment is leading this possible alliance formation. What is your take on this? What is the Shiv Sena's uh, take on this? Firstly, I'd want to say one thing. Um, Mahavika Sagadi came up with one single idea and agenda that anything which is anti-constitution and anti-democracy, we need to thwart with all our might and all our will and all the strength we have with us. Hmm. You may have personal differences, you may have ideological differences, but we need to keep differences aside to be able to get an alternate to this nation, to give an alternate to this nation that if not them, there is there is an alternate uh, vision of how this country will move forward. This, and we need to keep our personal differences alive. Mahavika Sagadi showed that. It's been two years of our government. Our government has become extremely popular with the people of Maharashtra. Supreme Court has appreciated the kind of work we have done. So there is an alternate vision. Right, especially for COVID, COVID management as coming well. Together. Yes, about willingness of it to uh, for everyone to come together, leaving the uh, personal differences aside for a larger cause, and the larger cause being protecting our democracy and safeguarding our constitution. So you can see Shiv Sena in that 2024 national alliance, if there is, if there is one. So I would say 2024 is very far right now. What is immediate is the threat to a basic rights and fundamental rights of this nation and every single citizen. See how the laws are getting cleared in the parliament. You do not even spare seven minutes to, uh, uh, you know, to your opposition voices. And every time the opposition voices talk about women's safety, talk about farmers, talk about national uh, security, talk about uh, uh, economy, joblessness, our mics are muted. Why are they muting our mics? Why won't they hear us out? Even if we mention what is the current status of the co uh, country while discussing a particular bill, what scares this government? Hmm. So that is the fundamental question here. Whenever you were talking about the Mahavikas Agadi coalition government in Maharashtra, now there have been a few instances uh, recently that has, in a way, highlighted the cracks uh, within the coalition government in Maharashtra. Now, whether it was, you know, disagreements over the choice of assembly speaker or uh, the question of contesting future elections together, there were, of course, war of words between Sharad Pawar and uh, Nana Patole. Even Uddhav Thakre, he had a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi, which uh, again gave rise to speculation that Shiv Sena and BJP could probably come back together. Uh, you know, Sharad Pawar also had a meeting with the PM recently. 
then of course there was a whole there was the whole vaze controversy uh now recently shiv sena has said that they'll go solo in uttar pradesh what i mean to ask is that is everything really all right within this coalition in maharashtra coalition dharma does not mean that all three of us are going to agree on every single issue neither does coalition dharma mean that every time we say yes they also have to say yes every time we mm-hmm. sneeze they sneeze too mm-hmm. so everyone will work in their own spaces in their own independent way of functioning while adhering to the common minimum program which we are committed to so mm-hmm. that is functioning uh, exceedingly well in the in the state now in terms of people meeting individuals uh, cm meeting the prime minister chief ministers meeting the prime minister is nothing new nothing new but speculation begins only because that suits the bharti janta party hmm. because that is showing doubts in the minds of the people hmm. shusena is very committed to its goal of providing good governance to the people of the uh, state hmm. and we will continue to do so in hmm. terms of us uh, united as an opposition in the parliament session ongoing session you have seen our party leader uh, sanjay rao ji in the rajya sabha and our uh, party leader in the lok sabha shri vinayak rao ji standing side by side with the entire opposition is speaking in the same voice now war of words and words spoken sharp words spoken does not literally mean that oh uh, uh, our alliance is so fragile that we'll break away because some words are spoken amongst each other hmm. this is part of democracy and this is part of a very thriving democratic culture that while being in an alliance we are giving you giving each other space to be able to not just grow but mm-hmm. also be able to voice their opinion on any matter right uh, priyanka can you uh, throw some light on shiv sena's plan for the uttar pradesh uh, elections now up elections uh, ayodhya ayodhya was something that we have fought for ram temple we, which we believe is part of india's core uh, cultural identity and we have fought for it and uh, ever since supreme court took a decision on it uh, our chief minister was the first one amongst all the political parties in the country uh, even mr modi went much later who went and visited the site and we were the first political party to uh, give a temple donation for the temple construction so uttar pradesh has been close to even uh, bada saheb shri uh, bala saheb thakre's uh, thought process and ideas and we have a couple of local corporators who are uh, across spread across the state so we are hoping so as a as a uh, as a political party we would aspire to grow beyond maharashtra we will attempt to grow uh, uh, beyond maharashtra we contested some seats in bihar mm. and uh, we are hoping that in in uttar pradesh we'd be able to begin a fresh and give an alternate to what the bharatiya janata party is and uh, see how as a party we we will grow so no alliance on the cards with congress or even with the bjp i think two th- no bjp i don't know why you keep bringing in the bjp uh, into this conversation when we stand united as opposition but anyway since you asked me this question 2022 is a bit far away our uh, pri- our chief minister's focus and he's also the party president is, his entire focus is on covid management and whatever decision is taken would be taken by our senior leaders and as soon as there is some shape to this entire campaign i'd be happy to share it with you right the only reason why i was bringing up bjp again is because shiv sena of course has been the oldest ally of the bjp till uh, uh, 2019 there are reports time and again that there could be you know a consensus that could happen between the two parties but thank you so much uh, priyanka for uh, giving me your time and uh, speaking to me on this episode thank you so much thank you